YouTube, it's Grace, and in this video I'm going to be painting the Cosmic Cliffs picture taken by the James Webb Telescope. I've been wanting to do a space painting for a while now, but I was sort of stuck on what I wanted to do because I couldn't decide if I wanted to do it as pixel art or branch out and try it in like a more realistic style, and I ended up choosing that one. It didn't take quite as long as I feared it would, but it was extremely detailed and I had to pay such close attention, but I think it turned out really cool and I'm really happy to show you how I did it. So let's get into it. This is my reference photo and this is the canvas I'll be painting. I went ahead and put a four by eight grid on the reference image just so that I have more of like a reference point and can know where everything is supposed to go. Now that I have the grid down, I can start zooming in and sketching out exactly where everything's gonna go. I just realized it would probably be a lot smarter to fill in the black and the blue before adding the stars. So I'm gonna do that instead of trying to draw them because I, this looks so bad. <laughs> just mixed up three colors. We have a super, super dark blackish blue, a darker blue and a lighter blue. And I'm going to fill those in to the best of my ability for now. Not focusing too much on details, just kind of getting the rough colors there. Blending this out was a major trust the process moment and it's not perfect but I think it's a pretty good start and you can see that the lighter blue starts more on the right side, works towards the black and that is kind of what I did. Now zooming into all the little squares and trying to draw as many stars as I can. I'm gonna go back in and fill it in more but I am matching up most of the biggest ones because if I was gonna do all of them, that would take um, a long time. <laughs> For this part of the painting down here, I just mixed up three shades of orange starting from lightest to darkest and I'm going to sort of block out just the rough idea of the painting and then go in with a lot of details later on. I think this is the biggest trust the process moment I have ever had and I'm a little bit scared right now, but we are going to blend this out and see how it looks, hopefully the colors are somewhat in the right spot. This paint is still kind of see-through, so I'm gonna let this dry and then add another coat on top of it just to refine everything a bit better. I think the colors look good, but the details are gonna need quite a bit of work. Now that this is dry, I'm going to go in with a much lighter orange if this will even focus and i'm gonna line the top of the orange part because as you can see it's really light at the top i'm working on blending out the light part now and adding some of the details further down Okay, so this looks terrible. So I decided to completely change my approach to blending and do more of like a bunch of little dabbing motions instead of trying to do whatever I was doing here. Cause I think this looks way better. So I'm going to do that across the whole thing. I think this looks a lot better now. For some reason, the contrast on my phone looks a lot more harsh than it does in real life, so I promise it looks a little bit more blended than it does now. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start making the stars, but if I need to go back in and blend some more, then I always can. The brush on the left used to be the same shape as the brush on the right. I have been doing so much of this motion that this brush is like basically destroyed, but I'm getting a lot of really cool blending shapes and colors in here. So here's my progress so far. I haven't recorded a lot of clips of this process just because it's so repetitive, but I'm just using these three colors and matching it up to the reference as close as I can, but it's definitely not perfect because it's super detailed. I'm adding some of the stars back now. I'm not worried about filling them in exactly where they were before I added the other paint just because I feel like it adds more layers if there's stars that like you can kind of like see like it's almost like they're on the other side of the cloud but I am focusing most of the stars on the lighter parts just because if you think about it the reason that they're lighter is because there's more stars there so I'm hoping maybe it'll look more realistic that way I don't know <laughs> I 
I have this rainbow window sticker thingy on my window and it's making painting kind of hard because I can't tell where all the colors are. But anyways, I'm gonna be using a very light purple and a very light orange, which I need to mix more of that, but it's fine. I'm gonna be using it for the stars because as you can see, they kind of have some different colors to them. And I think that's kind of one of my last steps with this painting. Okay, I got some of the different colored stars going here and I really like how that looks, but it still doesn't feel like it's quite done. So I'm gonna go in like sort of in this area, like the transition between the two and add some more light blues. And the grand reveal. Here it is. <laughs> I'm really happy with how this turned out. I was kind of expecting it to turn out kind of bad because I don't really have a lot of practice painting with more of a realistic style but I am pleasantly surprised. More than that, I'm surprised that it took less time than a pixel painting would have, which I did not really expect at all. <laughs> but I thought it was really cool trying out some new styles and techniques. I definitely used a lot of different blending techniques than I would have in other paintings. So that was fun, and I definitely learned a lot from doing this, so. I'm displaying this painting right here next to my other ones and now I finally have both of these two walls done and I feel like a hole in my soul has just been filled because it's finally done. At the time I'm filming this, I haven't got prints made of it because I literally just finished making it. But by the time you're seeing this video, I'm hoping to have prints ready. So if you would like to purchase one, I will have my Etsy link in the description. Also, if you're interested in seeing any of the other art I have to make or commissioning me, um, then check out my Instagram, also in the description. Um, if you DM me on there, then we can work something out. I have all my prices in my highlights, but if you want something custom, we can also figure that out. But that pretty much concludes this video, I think. So thank you for watching, and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye!